Not all people are scoundrels. The man who entered the gas chamber with the children said to the Nazis. Janusz Korczak, Polish teacher, writer, and a doctor, he refused to save his life. Thrice. The first time this happened was when Janusz decided not to emigrate before the occupation of Poland, so as not to leave the orphanage to the mercy of fate. Before the war with the Nazis. A second time. When he refused to flee the Warsaw Ghetto. And on the third day, when all the inhabitants of the House of Orphans had already climbed into the car of the train leaving for the camp, a Nazi, an SS officer, approached Korczak and asked, Did you write, King Matt? I read this book as a child. Good book. You can be free. And the children? The children will go. But you can leave the car. You're wrong. I can't. Not all people are bastards. A few days later, in the Treblinka concentration camp, Korczak, along with his children, entered the gas chamber. On the road to death, Korczak held in his arms the two smallest children, and told a story to unsuspecting kids. In principle, you cannot know anything more about Korczak, and read the Ten Commandments recommended by this amazing man for raising children, the first. Don't expect your child to be like you, or the way you want. Help him become not you, but yourself. Second, do not ask your child to pay for everything you have done for him. You gave him life, how can he thank you? He will give life to another, that one to a third, and this is an irreversible law of gratitude. Third, do not take out your grievances on the child, so that in old age you do not eat bitter bread. For what you sow, that will come up. Fourth, don't take his problems lightly. Life is given to everyone according to their strength, and be sure that it is no less difficult for him than for you, and maybe even more, because he has no experience. Fifth, do not humiliate. Sixth, do not forget that the most important meetings of a person is meetings with children. Pay more attention to them. We can never know who we meet in a child. Seventh, don't torture yourself if you can't do something for your child, just remember. Not enough has been done for the child, if not done, everything possible. Eighth, child. This is not a tyrant who takes possession of your whole life, not only the fetus, from flesh and blood. This is that precious cup that life has given you for safekeeping, and the development of creative fire in it. This is the liberated love of mother and father, in whom not our, our own, child will grow, but the soul given for safekeeping. Ninth, know how to love someone else's child. Never do to someone else what you would not like to be done to yours. Tenth, love your child in any way. Untalented, unlucky, adult. Communicating with him. Rejoice, because a child. This is a holiday that is still with you. Thank you for your attention. If you liked it, subscribe, comment, share this video, add it to your playlists, all the best. Goodbye.